Hello everyone, this is Nick Perry at Schaefer's Investment Research with your chart slideshow for Thursday, July 12th. Today I'm back with my weekly check of the broad market indices. As readers of the blog are already aware, I was out of the office last week, um, so I didn't actually have a chart slideshow last week, but today I'm picking up with the weekly schedule. I uh, went through the chart slideshow from two weeks ago, um, basically wanted to get a chance to uh, sort of think back on what I was looking at and offer a quick review of that. Uh, basically, we were talking about the potential double bottom, the lows right there, um, saying that, that was support, longer term support held, uh, was sitting there, similar situation on the Dow. We talked about the ascending lows on the comp, which was a uh, you know, somewhat constructive pattern, and also the longer term support there. Uh, as far as the rut goes, it's basically just been in a consolidation, consolidation, congestion, whatever you want to call that. The main takeaway was basically we had support in place short term, uh, was being tested longer term, was still below, and the overall takeaway was that uh, you know, the, the overall action still seemed constructive. When we turn to this week's charts, um, oh, right off the bat you'll see some red lines, I'll get into those in just a minute, um, but basically if you just sort of look back, uh, this is where the SPX was sitting when we talked about it last time, uh, we did see a bounce up, uh, same thing on the Dow, uh, the comp actually bounced right off its 50 day and is now moving higher, the rut still stuck in congestion. Okay, as far as the red lines, basically I went through and wanted to sort of identify the short-term support and resistance levels that I saw in place. Those gray zones are still the bigger picture levels, but I thought it might be helpful to sort of lay these lines out to talk about them. Uh, as far as the SPX goes, you know, it's, that's coming off that uh, double bottom right there, that uh, you know, two tests of support uh, near 1490-ish, 1485 on an intraday basis, somewhere in that area. Uh, the slanting line here, basically, I just drew a line connected to tops. You've got you know the three peaks here, and you know the, the sort of forming a descending pattern. Today's action is actually testing that, and I want to point out that if the same pattern was set up on the Dow based on these three peaks, uh, but actually the Dow is actually trying to break that pattern. Um, I don't want to get into all the details of you know what the, the implications of it are, you know what what the, these types of patterns are called. I don't I don't spend too much time on that. Basically, what I'm looking at here is the fact that on a short-term basis we've got support here, and we've got this resistance forming. And right now today we're actually trying to break above that. We're testing that right there. So that gives us an interesting test to see how strong um, the demand is. The Dow's already trying to break out, so we'll see if it holds there. So over the next couple of days, that's what I'm going to be watching on the SPX and Dow. When we turn our attention to the comp, we've got a different picture. We've got these ascending lows that we talked about. It's a constructive pattern. Each pullback is contained at a higher level. Buyers are a little bit more eager to jump in than waiting uh, for a retest. And as far as, you know, that basically just continues this uptrend. And now we've got these two peaks right here, which is where this red line is drawn off of. Uh, the pullback we saw earlier this week stopped right at that, and now we're seeing a bounce off of that. Again, that's short term. Uh, in this case, very short term, uh, but the overall uptrend is clearly in place. So I think that's uh, you know a constructive pattern for the overall market. Lastly, we've got the rut. Now, the near term action isn't all too exciting. We've got this back and forth uh, congestion consolidation. That's in the midst of this longer term congestion consolidation that actually extends past this chart. Uh, so it doesn't look like all too much is going on here. But keep in mind that the rut is actually in a fairly strong longer term uptrend. It's well above its 2000 peak and it's consolidating a lot of those gains. So while the, you know, the back and forth might be sort of dry to watch on a day-to-day basis, the longer term uptrend there is still definitely intact. All right, as far as overall takeaways, um, constructive action, you know, basically intermediate term, very constructive. Um, the shorter term right here, you know, it'll be interesting, interesting to see how the SPX uh, tests this uh, little peak right here, the descending peaks, see if the Dow holds above uh, that breakout on the closing basis. Uh, but even if we do see a pullback here, again, the intermediate term support is still in place. So that's what we'll be watching over the coming week. Uh, as always, stay tuned to the blog for further updates.